Okay, what I'm going to show um, a lot of you guys, um, you, you've asked for some progressions, some nice progressions that you can use uh, on the keyboard, um, whether you're in church or at home or whatever, I guess, genre of music that you play. Um, I have some more advanced things that I'm going to show later in the video, so those of you who want some more advanced runs and tricks and scales, I'll show you those, but slowly but surely I have to kind of find a nice medium for everyone. Okay, what I'm going to do is... Um, What I'll do is, I'll show you one chord. One chord. And what you can do with this one chord, learn them in every key and just move them around on the keyboard and sound, you know, like you know what you're doing. Okay, for those those of you who will just learn how to play, this is a nice chord you can do. The psyche boy is out. You know, make them think you know what you're doing, okay? <laughs> so here's a nice chord you can do. Left hand, B flat, F, A flat. With right hand, D flat, G flat, A flat, D flat. Um, this finger here, move it down a half step. Okay, that'll give a nice little effect. And if you want, match this finger up to match it. Just do an octave uh, sound or act octave of it, which is in the left hand. Okay, that's the chord. show you one more. Okay, another um, chord that you can use to kind of psych them out, make them think you can do a lot of stuff if you're a beginner, okay, because as a beginner you want to jam too, I understand, um, and, you know, um, and you can't do a lot of runs, so you just want a lot of, you know, just, it sounds like I'm doing a lot. is this simple chord here C F B flat E flat G and I just go on and learn it move it up half steps that way you can make get your hands familiar with with this chord okay uh, let's say you jam with the band he's like and you can't really do a lot of you know Okay, what you can do is just Now of course for you advanced players, I know that doesn't sound like much, obviously, but for beginner, man, that's you're doing something really nice, okay? Fake it till you make it. That's the key. Fake it till you make it. So just learn that chord, move it around. Okay. Um, just move it around the keyboard, learn it up, learn it down. And uh, that's basically it. For a simple way, um, uh, basic theoretic approach, uh, you move them up fourth. So start with C, go up fourth, major fourth from there, B flat, major fourth, and the last one will be a major third. So, or if you're here, major fourth up, C, major fourth up, major fourth up again, and third. So fourth, 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 third. Okay, here, major fourth up, major fourth up, another fourth. Okay, this progression here is called the uh, 2 5 1 progression, and I'll show you it's the most fundamental progression that you can use in any genre of music, whether it be country, gospel, jazz, RB, rock, uh, you name it. 2 5 1 is the progression. Even in cute little children jingles, I guess. Uh, what is it? Uh, Mary had a little 
for lamb. Or you have, um, I think it closes out with, whose fleece was white as snow. All right, and I'm in the key of D flat. Okay. Um, amazing grace, how sweet. Or let's see. Blessed assurance. Okay. So as you can see, I'm using. You're gonna use this this two five one progression in basically any genre of music. Uh, even you know, straight ahead jazz. Um, that there is called Giant Steps. That's a Giant Step tune. Type in Giant Steps, you'll see a whole bunch of people playing different variations of it, but that's a whole bunch of 251 progressions. All right, so let me break this progression down for you in the key of D flat. Okay, it goes like this. Left hand, E flat. Right hand, G flat, B flat, D flat, E, F. Okay. Next, you're gonna go to the five. G flat, B flat, C, F. So all I did was move that down, the middle finger down to the C, and then close it out to the one. Right hand, uh, left hand is D flat. Right hand is F, A flat, B flat, E flat. Okay. So you can put it together. Now I'll tell you a good thing that you can do is everything, all these nice chords you're learning with the right hand, go on and take the initiative, learn them with the left hand so you can free your right hand up to do some nice runs and some nice scales. Um, basically with the left hand would be, okay, and I'll show you some scales and runs that you can use even on something like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you some uh, runs and scales that you can use over the 251. You've already, um, I think in the first part I showed you how to basically move that chord with the left hand, okay? Left hand, two, five, one. Two, five, one. Okay, right hand, I'm going to show you the basic scale, D flat scale. One, two, three, But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this in block. So we'll start on the three. Okay, all I did was just block it. Okay. I just ran that whole scale up while I did the 2 5 1 progression. So basically, that's nice. You know, something real nice and pretty there. Okay, so basically, uh, you can go up that way and just rush it. Or if you have a lot of time, or you want to really try to impress your Christian brothers and sisters when you're, you know, playing, I guess. Um, to be honest, I think it's a little too much, but cats do it. I'll show you. Um, you can run up on that two. Run that chord up, that scale up with the two. Come down on the, um, your uh, minor. Okay. Basically what that is in block is those four, these three again. Those four, these three just come on down. And then when you get to the one, go up in the key of A flat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. But you're going to end on seven. I'll show you the block. First block, second block, first. It just repeats. So that's the one. Okay? So you have go up on the first one I showed you. Come down. You can pick any random note in that A flat scale. Okay? Um, I don't know why you want to do that, but I guess if you want to impress, I guess you could do uh there. He's like, uh, hey. all right, you're real busy, but you know, if you want to be busy like that, that's fine. Um, you know, I guess however you want to end a song. Um, okay, so that's basically what you have. Another here. Nice little trick. And just three, 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 three. Okay. Okay. So with all these things combined, I'm just trying to show you some real nice tricks, but simplifying them. Okay. So hopefully all of these you can apply in your everyday playing in the key of D flat.